This country is world famous for its language, history, and peculiar traditions, like the annual cheese rolling festival in the western county of Gloucestershire. Thousands of people climb Cooper's Hill, very steep, and take with them a full, round, seven-pound double Gloucester cheese, which they then proceed to release at the top, and as it rolls away, they chase down after it. The first one to finish gets the cheese, or much more likely, a broken limb. They actually tried to bar cheese rolling because of the extreme danger, but good old British stupidity prevailed and this crazy sport survives. Shame you missed it this year. However, there is still time to watch them light a hundred bonfires on every hilltop in Cornwall from Land's End at the very southwesterly tip all the way through the county. It creates a huge pall of smoke and a fire that can be observed by passing satellites. And there is probably a reason for it, but no one in Cornwall can remember what it is. Equally, the annual nettle eating contest held at Crewkern in the southern county of Dorset, the origins of which are lost in local folklore and a chronic indigestion. Participants have to consume as many poisonous stinging nettles as they can in order to stand a chance of winning there are no prizes at all. If you really want to put your foot in it, July heralds the world-renowned toe wrestling championships, which are always held in the English county of Derbyshire. Contestants sit opposite one another on the uh, toadium, and after locking their big toes together on a small wooden frame called the toast track, they engage in a trial of strength. August brings the life-size scarecrow festival and hundreds of life-size scarecrows to the Yorkshire village of Kettlewell. And over in Wales, the famous bog snorkelling finals, which involve intrepid fools attempting to swim two lengths of a sticky, muddy peat bog underwater. But perhaps the maddest festival of all is held in the Devon village of Ottery St Mary. On one night, Every November, Ottery's deranged menfolk fill huge wooden beer barrels with tar, then set fire to them, pick them up, stick them on their shoulders and run through the village, risking life and limb. The only justification for doing it at all is that they've done it every year since 1815. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.